Hi there. So today I want to talk about what I call four common woes of the therapist and healer. So every situation is different, but oftentimes as therapists and healers, we tend to experience some of the same frustrations. So in my experience as an educator and a clinician in the field of creative arts therapies, I have found that these particular woes tend to lower our energy and enthusiasm. And so for the purposes of this video, I have given them four character types. So the first one is the magician. Now, how many times have you gone to work and instead of feeling like an effective therapist or healer, you tend to feel more like an entertainer. You're worried about whatever the next trick is that you'll have to pull out of your hat for the next client or the next group. And sometimes it's even a surprise to yourself what you come up with. It's stressful to always have to be on. Now, second, number two, is what I call the paper pusher. Now, do you ever feel like what was supposed to be a job that helps people has turned you into a sleep deprived paper pusher, right? You always have one eye on the clock and another eye on a checkbox right in front of you. And what precious time you have to spend with clients gets buried under audits and progress notes, treatment plans, invoices, receipts, sign-in sheets, supply orders, the list just goes on, right? Uh, and number three, I have the squeaky wheel. So let's say your client interactions are good, right? Your job is great, but the bureaucracy of the agency or the institution that you work for tends to overshadow any joy that you might derive from them. So your superiors or your supervisors even don't respect boundaries. They don't understand the value of what you do. And so every little request you make tends to feel like an uphill battle, right? You have to challenge, every contribution that you make to the workplace is challenged. And so you end up becoming this squeaky wheel just so that your office doesn't get commandeered as a supply closet. Now the last one I call the lone wolf. Or perhaps, you know, you're in private practice. You have had some success, but you're isolated and you're stuck on how to really stay relevant or take your expertise or your income to the next level. So like a lone wolf, you derive pleasure and purpose from feeling like you're part of the pack, but perhaps the unique nature of what you do and or how you think about what you do leaves you feeling like the, the odd man out, right? The, that maybe you don't quite fit in with the communities that you belong to. Oh, now, if any of these sound familiar, I promise you, you are not alone. If you'd like to sign up for my free webinar on cultivating abundance in therapeutic practice. We will address the common woes and character types, tap into your higher knowing, and receive action steps on how to improve your professional life, right? Calling in that abundance mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and financially. So make sure you register and sign up for the webinar below.